In this video, I'll be making copper chloride from the reaction of copper metal with hydrochloric acid and hydrogen peroxide. To begin, I put an excess of copper into a beaker and then added 100 milliliters of water. To this, I added 200 milliliters of 12% hydrogen peroxide. I then added about 100 milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid to the beaker. After quite a short time, it's a very noticeable colour change. The solution goes from clear to a lime kind of colour. What I think is happening here is the hydrogen peroxide is oxidising the copper into the cupric iron and as a side product the oxide iron is produced as well as water. The hydrochloric acid then reacts with the copper 2 ions to make copper 2 chloride and then 2 hydrogen ions. The 2 hydrogen ions then react with the oxide iron made in the first reaction to make water. These bubbles that you can see are oxygen bubbles from the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide due to the heat made from this reaction. This reaction was so hot that I was worried it would ruin my plastic table cover, so I put it onto a fire brick to protect the cover. After leaving the reaction to run overnight, it had finally cooled down and two distinct layers had formed. Underneath the water, it was obvious that some bits of copper had been completely corroded. I filtered the solution and was left with a nice green filtrate. I then transferred the filtrate into a 1000ml beaker. I boiled off the water until there was around 50 milliliters of solution left. I then transferred it into a crystallizing dish to let it evaporate over a week. Seven days later, after leaving it to dry, this is what remains. The top bit is actually copper 1 chloride, which is decomposed from the top of copper 2 chloride and released chlorine gas. That brown bit is the anhydrous copper chloride, and at the bottom there is copper 2 chloride that hasn't decomposed yet. The anhydrous copper chloride can easily be turned back into the hydrous copper chloride by leaving it outside in a humid environment. This is a better view of the copper 2 chloride. I think that this hasn't decomposed into copper 1 chloride because it's not been as exposed to sunlight as the top layer has. I thought it would be interesting to see what this looked like under a microscope, so I took a small crystal and put it onto a microscope slide and then took a few photos of it, but this is by far the best one. 